Hey everyone, my name is Elaine. I'm the book blogger behind Utopia State of Mind, and today I'm bringing you the second part of my 12 authors, 12 books. I'm late, but I'm getting to it, right? So this is May, and I'm doing my, my other two reviews. I actually have two more, because basically, after filming the first part, I was kind of like, this is so late. I really need to start, like, reading these books. Anyway, if you didn't know, I got 12 of my favorite authors to recommend me 12 books, and so this is part two. So I'm going to do books three and four, which are The Paper Menagerie and Waist Tide. I own The Paper Menagerie. I just cannot find it. I think I did the announcement video. Couldn't find it. I've looked around it. Can't find it. So let's start with that one because it's it's around somewhere, honestly. I just, I honestly, I just, I can't. I don't know where it is. It must be hiding from me because it knows that I have to film. Anyway, The anyway. Paper Menagerie is a short story anthology, all from stories, I think, that were written by Ken Liu. I really liked it, basically. I had only read things that were translated by Ken Liu, like, waist tied. Um, but I read other things translated by him, I can't remember. And then also, I think I've read short stories in, like, a very long time ago when I was reviewing kind of short story anthology magazines, like Lightspeed, for example. So it was really fun to see all of these stories kind of put together. And what I really liked about it was at the very beginning, Ken is talking about how it features some of, like, the top stories, but also stories that he wishes could have gotten more attention. And I thought that was really cool, this idea that you can, when you're making these anthologies, you can kind of retrospectively be thinking about, oh, these are stories that I really love, and these are kind of my hit stories, my prolific stories, but then what stories did I want more attention for? I think about this all the time with book reviews and TikToks and bookstagram photos, kind of things that perform well versus things that I wish perform better. So that's part of the reason why I love Paper Menagerie, but also from the very beginning, you can tell that there's so much behind it. You, I, I wish that some of my favorite stories from the Paper Menagerie were kind of stretched out into full-length books because I could spend so much time in them. It was just clear in every story that there was so much thought put into this world and into this idea. There were a few that were my favorites and a few that were not as much of my favorites. That kind of happens with all the anthologies. But one of my favorite ones, and I can't remember what the title of this was, but I really think it's about surveillance and kind of individual rebellion and what it means. And I think that this theme is so prolific or prolific? I'm not sure if I mean prolific. <laughs> this theme is so present in a lot of sci-fi stories because in the sci-fi world where there's more technology, there's more surveillance, there's more kind of like control, rebellion means different things for different people. So that was one of my favorite short stories uh, from The Paper Menagerie. But in general, I think that if you've been looking at this author and think, oh, I would love to read an anthology of their work, you definitely should pick up The Paper Menagerie because kind of like me, it will give you a really good sense about Ken's original works. I also own the first two books of The Grace of Kings and the something something, but they're thick, chunky books. So that's why I was waiting till this book to see if I wanted to kind of like bite, bite a chunk of those off, but I'm not ready yet. I, I, I'm swamped with TBR books, so I'm not ready. By the way, The Paper Menagerie was recommended to me by Tracy Chi. I love Tracy's books so much. I've read all of them, love them so much. The Reader, Storyteller, um, The Speaker, that trilogy, uh, the Reader trilogy, really fabulous. And I can see why Tracy recommended me The Paper Menagerie because I think that both of their worlds have this feeling of like seeing a snapshot of a world but knowing that there's so much more and being so intrigued. It never feels like the world isn't complete. It always just feels like I see a world and I would love to know more, but not in a lacking way, but in a kind of like awe-inspiring way. The next one is Waste Tide. Waste Tide was recommended to me by R.F. Kuang, who wrote The Poppy War, The Burning God, The Dragon Republic, Babel, all of those fabulous books which have torn my heart out and just also been so thought-provoking. And that is how I felt about Waste Tide. Waste Tide was one of those books where I finished it and I was like, okay, now I kind of understand what's happening. I need to go back and kind of really sink in what was what is being said in the story because Waste Tide is able to balance like um, Mimi's own kind of story and her own action with also these themes about corporate structures and these themes about globalization and these themes of rebellion as well. And it just felt like reading it, I felt like I didn't have enough brain cells. <laughs> so what I it was one of those books where I finished it and I was kind of like, yes. I should go back and reread this because once I had the plot down, 
I wanted to go back and reread it because I thought even from a premise perspective, this idea about like our electronic waste going to another place, too true basically, too close to real life, but also that in that other place there's also these cultures and these people that are going through all of their different issues as well and kind of the electronics almost coming back to life and being embodied in another way. It just, all of it, all of this felt so kind of brain exploding and that's definitely how I felt after reading Babel. So I can see, I can see why, you know, this was recommended to me. But it was just one of those books where I finished it and I just wanted to like sink into it. You know, where you, one of those books where you finish it and you want to just kind of hibernate a little bit with it. That's how I felt about Waste Tide. So that brings me to the end of my two, my second part of the 12 All There's 12 books. I am now on track because I'm about to film the third part. I'm now on track for it. I've read seven books out of 12 because I'm going to be going on vacation in the summer and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to read. Um, so I'm now on track. Uh, and so I'll be able to hopefully stay on track and finish this because that's my goal to just finish this project. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you've read either of these books, please let me know. If you've read The Grace of Kings, please let me know. Maybe give me like a little push to read it um, because it, it, it's a thick book, okay? I will see you in the next one. I hope you have a really great day. Bye.